All right, y'all. Rambo and I are editing. Rambo, say hi to the world. Checking out this Warner Flounder video here. Guys, just a reminder, Q&A session in Indonesia. Send me all your questions. ReaperFishing55 at gmail.com. Any question you're willing to ask, I'm willing to answer it. Send all the emails to that address. Alana's going to screen them. Her favorite 10, 20, whatever questions we got time for, I'm going to answer live in Indonesia. I won't screen them. Rambo, it's just a shadow, bud. Relax. I won't screen them. So anything you guys want to know, I, a lot of people have been asking me for it. So send them. I'm super excited. I'll do it right there in Indonesia. Pumped. Rambo's pumped too, right, bud? Okay. What is going on, Reaper team? Welcome back to another silly adventure. It's Wednesday, April 12th. As you can see, I'm in the big black truck, and we are headed north once again. I am going after my white whale winter flounder. I'm super pumped, super excited. I've become obsessed with this spring fishery. Um, it's just so challenging. It's so tough. I think there's not that many of them around anymore. But... The plan is I'm heading to the Molokka at my buddy Yasha's house to pick up River Reaper, and then I'm headed up to Shark River. I really wanted to fish around the Mana looking area, the Mana looking bridge area, but the tides there are kind of wonky, so I'm going to Shark River. Two years ago, or maybe three years ago, I had five there in one trip, so check out that video. I have tons of chum, tons of bloodworms. I'm going to stop at Belmar Marina, pick up a couple extra rates once I get the boat in the water, maybe some salty clam for bait as well. And I don't know. We'll see. Yes, I know there's stripers up in the Raritan. I honestly have no interest in doing that, to believe it or not. Um, we'll see. I may go to the Delaware River tomorrow just to kind of reminisce. I used to catch big stripers up there. I might take the River Reaper up there. I really don't know. Or do boat work tomorrow. But today, it's all about the winter flounder. So I will see you all on the water. I'm super excited. All right, y'all. So here we are. We're at the Malka River at my buddy Yasha's house. You've all seen it. Look how pretty that view is. But... But we're going to get River Reaper all hooked up to the big truck, so we'll see. All right, so let's see. I'm not real good at this. Wish me luck. All right, we're all hooked up. Get the electrical hooked up, and we're out of here. All right, y'all. So, yeah, I'm out of breath. One of the seats, even I took the seat down. It still flew out of the trailer somehow. So, uh, I didn't want anybody to get hurt. It looked like one guy actually hit it. So, I ran down the parkway and grabbed it. Uh, looks like it's a minorly damaged. Zach's going to kill me. But uh, I'll replace it. The things I do for these winter flounder. Even had the state trooper come up. She was cool. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this pays off, y'all. First look at the water here up at Shark River. Doesn't look super windy. That's good. Okay. Guys, so Fisherman's Den, super helpful, super nice guy. Fisherman's Den, I've said it before, awesome store. He said they've been catching them the last couple of days, so sounds like it's worth it to stay here. A um, little worried about the wind, it's super windy. So the main channel where I normally fish, it's going to be pretty exposed. Um, and you really got to kind of stay still, so I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to either fish there, he actually gave me a couple little other spots to try, so I might give that a shot. Hopes are high. Wish me luck with the trailer. I'm really not good at it. So guys, we got launched okay. It wasn't perfect. Took me two tries, but not terrible. I probably could have got it on the first one. I just, I didn't want to push it. So here we go, baby. Boat's running. It's in the water. Grab the rest of the stuff and off we go. It's like super warm out, actually. I'm going to have to shed some layers, I think. All right, guys, not starting off good. Got the boat in the water. Uh, engine's heat overheating, I think. So what happened was Zach left. Not that it's his fault. I just didn't know it. He left that little port thing open. So that's the flushing port. So pretty sure what was happening was the salt water was just coming up and then spitting right out there and not cooling the engine. So I think that's why it was yelling at me and giving me a check engine sign. So I'm going to let that cool off. I hope that's all it is. Um, in the meantime, I'll get the rods rigged and try that again. All right, guys, my hypothesis was correct. Knock on wood, she's running. So 
back up and running. Uh, it's blowing like, I don't know, 20 knots. I just can't escape this wind. I was here once before and this wind was gnarly like this and I was just bouncing. So I don't know, I'm gonna try and maybe go around the bend and get somewhere sheltered. I have no idea, but at least we're back in business. All right, let's try this again. Seems to be running good. Let's go, get out of here. Yeah, so one attempt 47, that's good. It's not too warm. I was worried it was going to be way too warm. So we'll see. I'm waiting on the depth finder to kind of kick in. I'm just super pumped for at least out here. It's like noon now. I wanted to be set up already, but hey, it is what it is, right? So I'm going to go around this one little bend here and just see if I can't find another spot. So I'm up, uh, I'm in like nine foot of water, all right? And then right there is like 17 foot of water. So Nice drop off, uh, tide's still coming in. Um, I don't know guys, we'll see. I have no idea. But at least I'm not bouncing like super a ton. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Right about here I was actually double checking the wind forecast I just I couldn't believe it you can see here so two anchor system we're holding pretty steady you can actually see the chum slick right there as well took a break from the yo-yo action and uh, about to light up a cigar hey y'all no bites yet it's been about maybe 20 minutes I don't know but I got a little mini Cohiba I haven't smoked a cigar and I don't even know how long maybe a year probably a year I don't know Let's see if I can get it lit with all this wind <laughs> You'll be able to see the rig here in a second. Simple two hook rig, very short little leader, tiny little hooks, small pieces of blood worms for bait. And uh, I paint the sinkers neon green. Always read about that. Looks like a nice mud bottom here, okay. So what I'll do is I'll churn that up. Every now and then I'll churn the chum pot. I got one here, I got one back there, two rods. I don't know, nothing yet guys. Bubblies in here. Got my bubblies, of course. So you can see I got my homemade chum here. Thanks, Gary, for the chum pot. So I just put the cup right in there. And it just drains out the bottom. I mean, this looks like nice, good black mud. I mean, I don't know. They like the mud. Guys, I'm gonna head over to uh, where I've caught them here before and where I have confidence. Hopefully I can get set up with this wind. Um, get the chum in and I can't get one. I can get any other spot. It looks so promising, but I didn't really feel super confident. At least here I'm confident I've caught them. So, I don't know, we'll see. boat right there. This thing's awesome. A lot of cool boats here. Oh, that's a sick boat there. That's a Fitz 34. That's the old, uh, what was the name of that boat? Russian Roulette. Must have painted it. That boat's badass, y'all. Lock and load. Never heard of that one. I had to try and get out of the wind somehow. It's just prohibitive, so I don't know. We'll see. It's new territory. Pretty cool though. Exploring. I'm having a good day. I'm having fun.
I bet there's targets in here. All right, guys, yet another spot. Uh, at least here, I'm shielded by the wind. So I can actually kind of see what's going on. I don't know, we got good tide movement. I'm in like 12 foot of water, and it's like 20 plus foot of water up there. So, I don't know, I'm gonna give this maybe an hour. All right, y'all, that was terrible. Um, really couldn't fish anywhere. That was just terrible, let's put it that way. So I'm on the road again, I'm headed 30 minutes south. It's really like 10 miles south, but to get there takes 30 minutes by car, so. I didn't do great with the trailer, I'm getting bad, I'm actually getting worse, but hey, it is what it is, practice makes perfect, right? So I'll see you guys at the next spot. Uh, we'll see, I'm gonna run out of time, I think. All right, y'all, here we are at the second ramp, so see if we can drop her in better. We got a, geez, a fire hydrant blowing, so there's a, uh, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. There's a guy, utility truck in my way now. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Like a glove, first shot. Okay, park and brake. Let's get this sucker off the trailer. All right, y'all, so super windy. Still here ramp but where I'm going it should be protected so it's a couple mile run to the north now I came right down here because I like this ramp it's easy I got in got it 30 seconds so this is like a home run shot so we'll see starting to question my uh my going after these winter flounder go new spot Ready. so Let's see, let's get this boat ready to roll. Oh, I forgot my seat. Shoot, ah, oh, whatever. Should be okay. I am really flailing today, guys. Just totally flailing. I left the seat on the, on. This is not my day. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Chum pots out. Let's get some baits out. Okay. Oh, it smells fishy here. I don't know. I'm just making that up in my head. You know, I'm not making that up in my head, but it does smell fishy here. The guys on the docker, on the fishing pier, they're so intrigued. They're just staring at me. <laughs> Literally staring at me. I guess I never saw a guy in a boat here before. Even though I've fished here before. So, let's see. I've done here well. I've caught like like two in 15 minutes. It seems like they just bite in little spurts. It's like they find the tide stage they want and then they're, that's it. Uh, my blood worms are kind of getting frozen. I bought these sandworms too. Let's try them. I never tried the sandworms. Oh, I just got bit. Oh my god, I got bit. I got bit. Like instant, dude. Sitting here yapping, I got bit. Come on, baby. Got bit right away. Holy cow. I got him. Holy shit, I got him. Just like that, guys, I got him. Just like that, I got him. <laughs> oh my god, it's a moose. It's an absolute moose. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. After all that, guys, after all that, it paid off. That's a monster. Yes, this is my spot. This is my spot. Look at that thing. He fucking walloped it. Man, did he swallow it. Okay. Wow. Yes. I literally just got here, guys. Wait till you see this tank. Look at that. Yes. Yes, guys. Look at that. Absolute moose. Look. 
just choked it as Dylan would say he choked it look at that right down the hatch that's it my white whale I mean instantaneous he was there yes I've been waiting all day for that oh I feel so good nice one let's see he's uh 16 and a half inches wow all right cool awesome let's put him on the cooler get him on ice catch another one instant it paid off hard work pays off yes i'm so freaking pumped guys i hope you can see me right now uh i hope i got some of that on video uh i don't know i'll put the head mount on i feel kind of silly these guys are all watching me but um just goes to show you perseverance it pays off tuna fishing striper fishing it doesn't matter winter flounder fishing i knew the conditions weren't right up there i said all right i could you know get the boat on the trailer and go home or go try another spot and uh try another spot and it paid off man oh my god i'm so excited just made my day my week yes it was all about the neon sinker that's what it was cool guys they're just they're so neat they're so different from flout from a uh, fluke they're like really sandpapery almost and they're so good to eat i'm gonna make that one uh probably tomorrow night maybe tonight i don't know we'll see it's the time we get home One thing I've definitely noticed here in North Jersey, y'all love your music on the boat. I mean, everyone's rocking out, like no matter what. Every time I come up here, the stereo systems are always blasting. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Y'all comment, let me know why, I'm curious. We don't really do that in South Jersey, for the most part. I don't, sometimes. But here, it's just, everyone's got it blasting. Let me know. So with high hopes after that first bite we kept on fishing you can see here the tides really starting to move pretty steady unfortunately the wind just never stopped even being sheltered here in this spot it was still howling and as the tide started going out the weeds just got prohibitive and really gnarly so we'll see what happens here god these weeds are just brutal right now guys i mean just look at all those weeds going by holy cow slack tide it seems like i catch the fish within like 10 minutes and that's it and then the wind is just ripping too hard so i don't know i think this is going to be it um i'm going to bring the river boat home to brigantine i may have something up my sleeve tomorrow i'm not deciding yet uh, this wind is brutal um, i got an idea in mind but i have to see if the wind will cooperate where i want to go if not uh, i got big boat work to do and then indonesia in like 10 days so yeah, 10 days, literally, so. I'm going to see you guys back at my house for a little catch and cook on the winter flounder. What an adventure. What an adventure. Paid off, though. We got one. Guys, it really is super fun running the uh, the River Reaper. It's a 16-foot sea nymph, a uh, little Suzuki on the back. My very first boat was actually a 14-foot low aluminum. Uh, my dad and I bought, well, he bought me a 15-horsepower tiller motor just like this, a little aluminum gas can or metal gas can and that's how i got started um well at least solo running my own boat solo and uh it's just super fun brings back fun memories and uh just goes to show you don't need to have a 43 foot boat or any sizable boat or even a boat just get out there and fish enjoy mother nature that's all you need long day guys it's fun super fun all right y'all like 10 after six uh what a fun day. Let's go get this thing on a trailer. Get home safe. Eat some uh, nice fresh winter flounder for dinner. Man, I'm still waiting to like lay into them. I don't know. Help me out. Send me more comments. You guys have really helped me key in on these winter flounder. Uh, well, not key, but you know, help me catch a couple. Uh, again, I said it in a couple prior videos with the winter flounder. I'm just kind of obsessed with it now because I'm getting more comfortable driving a trailer. And I just used to read all the Fisherman Magazine articles in the 80s and early 90s 
Milt Roscoe and all the old timers. It just seems so fun to me. So I always wanted to try it, you know? I live in South Jersey, so it's totally new. So what the heck? I'll lay into them one day. To the left. It's hard when I because I can't see it. Maybe just a hair forward actually. Yeah, should do it. A little crooked, but we'll make it work. Whoa, my God, I almost fell. That was close, y'all. That was pretty close, almost fell. Okay, now do the trailer dance. Yes, indeedy. Getting better, y'all. Getting better, getting better, getting better. As always, as always, I make a total and utter mess. Zach's gonna kill me. Kill that. Put this little safety guy on there. Got a little safety guy. Bring the net up in here. Put our rods back in the truck, I think. It's my work truck, y'all. All right. It's hard work, this whole YouTube video thing. Trust me. If y'all want to start a channel, hit me up. Let me know. I don't mind helping. A couple of guys have reached out saying they want to try it. I'd be pumped to help, for sure. It's hard work, I can tell you that. My buddy Dylan's way better at it than I am. I just, I just want to find the fish. But I do all this stuff for you guys, too, because it's so fun. Got our safety chain ready to roll. I always like to do, like, a couple of checks on the trailer, you know. All right, y'all, super pumped. So, so I got about an hour and 20-minute drive, I want to say, ahead of me. Um, i got to take that one seat down. But um, maybe one day I'll get more comfortable with the trailer, and this way I can take the contender, um, you know, that's why I can take the contender up north, do a little fishing up by y'all. You know, the jigging up there is so much better. So, we'll see. More practice. Just got to keep doing it, right? Practice makes perfect. Hey, y'all, back in the house. Made it. Super pumped. I might leave this here. My neighbor's not really here. I don't think he would mind. Come on, we're here. I'm going to make her take a picture. She can't walk. 10 feet, she's bummed. All right, y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, it's been a long day, I'm kind of tired. I got showered, 158 pounds, y'all. I think I lost uh, almost 40 pounds from my heaviest. Uh, I was 155 most of my adult life. Um, abs, surfing a bunch, and I'm 158 now. I don't look quite the way I used to, but I'm surfing kind of like I used to. I'm super pumped, but enough yapping. I don't know how many cats are going to interrupt us, but let's get rolling. First thing, let's preheat this oven to about 375, something like that. I just got a little baking dish, and we're going to make it super simple tonight. You really want to taste this winter flounder. It's absolutely delicious. So here we go. Still, the best knives are the Dexter Russells. You can't beat them. I just buy them all the time. Highly recommend them. Here's our winter flounder fillets. Um, Pretty decent yield. That fish was 16 and a half inches. Uh, super pumped. They're such different fish. Um, their mouth, it's almost like a little mini bass. There's no teeth like a fluke. Um, and they fight so hard, to be honest with you. So it's really, really super cool. The meat, especially in certain areas, look how dark that meat is. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like super dark. But guys, it's like... I mean, 
It's so good. I said it uh, the first time I ate it. It's one of my favorite fish to eat, honestly. So um, just gonna throw it right in the, in the pan there. Okay. Yeah, and then you can see here too, they take on like this dark spot all on the belly meat. Um, I'm gonna cut a little of that out, just a hair, just to kind of trim that out. Okay, two. Now guys, what I've been doing too is, uh, I'm, I'm so hungry. One of the ways I've lost all this weight, honestly, is also intermittent fasting. Um, a lot of days, like if I work in the morning, I will go 10, 12 hours, and I won't consume a single calorie. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been working for me big time, so super pumped on that. So I highly recommend it. So now again, just keep it super simple. We're just gonna drizzle little little EVOO on there, Rachel Ray style. <laughs> Such a dork. And then again, I'm kind of in a rush. Normally I would chop up everything super fresh, but uh, Killer Hogs AP seasoning. I put this on just about everything. It's awesome. Highly recommend it. So just a little bit of that. There we go. And then we're gonna do garlic powder. And then just some parsley flakes. Super simple. Takes like two minutes to prep when you're not yapping at a silly camera. And uh, and that's it, y'all. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put a little paprika on there. Hold on. Little, little paprika for color. Hold on. There we go. Now tell me that does not look beautiful. All right, so... 375 in the oven. I can't imagine it'll take more than 10 minutes. I'll check back with y'all. Super pumped. I spotted one of the crazy cats. That's Rambo Cat there. He's the lunatic. Let's see. He's probably going to do it. Maybe not. Oh, he's pumped. I got, I've put my stuff out there. He's like, what's going on? Rambo, get her. Been about, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, man, oh, man. Lord of living, look at that. Melt my phone. Whew. Wish y'all had smell of vision. That looks unreal. Maybe like two more minutes, pull it out, and take a peek. Looks so good. So I'm watching Ghostbusters. If you've ever watched any of my videos, I always come home and I watch a silly 80s or 90s or some other dumb video. Another two minutes and then I'm gonna finally eat. Going through the footage, I actually captured Something. I think I can make a video out of this, so I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. Watch Ray. Watch Ray. Watch Ray. Yep, here it comes. Old Chris. The Stay Puff Marshmallow. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, we're done. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I wish you all had smell vision. Unbelievable. Okay. And we'll do the, old, do the old test here. Let's make sure we're done. Oh, yeah. Dishes are done, man. Okay, so. Let me just show you this. Look out just awesomely white and flaky that is I'm telling you it's so it's just even softer than fluke i don't know how to describe it but mm. oh god worth the weight worth the hard work sometimes people are like oh my god you drove all that way to you know spend all that money on gas and this and that to catch one fish or one small fish or you only allowed two Team, it's not about the meat, right? For me, it's not about the meat. I say it all the time. If you're out there and you're meat hunting, um, you probably should be working or something like that, making some money, right? You know, if you're out there to catch dinner, you probably should be at work or something. You know, it's out. You're out there to you're out there to make memories, right? The sights, the sounds, the smells. I, I say it a lot. It's uh, these memories will live with you till you are 85 and laying on the bed somewhere dying. So, me. Out on that silly boat today, spot to spot, wind, burn, that will live with me. And this is worth it still, so. 
enough yapping. I love y'all. God bless. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Ding that silly bell. More videos coming. Indonesia, 10 days. Super pumped. I'm surfing great. And we're going to catch tuna there too. See ya. Oh, and one last reminder. ReaperFishing55 at gmail.com. Q&A in Indonesia. I'm going to take an hour. Alana's is going to screen, I don't know, 10 to 20 emails at ReaperFishing55 at gmail.com. And I'm going to answer them right there live. I'm not going to look at them. She's going to pick them all out. So any question you got, I'm willing to answer. We're going to do it right there in paradise. Uh, I'm super excited about it. So submit your questions. If not, then we're not going to do it. I need the questions. A lot of people have asked me to do it. So let's do it. I'm super pumped about it. So see y'all in Indo.